Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all. Sorry, I need that. The saints here in Central California. Um, let's see, what do we got going on this week? Oh, yeah, more swank streaming. Um, so if you call, I talked about a uh, new streaming uh, service we're going to be offering our customers. At least I think I've talked about it. If I haven't, here's a brief recap. CIO pulled me aside one day and said, hey, uh, we're going to offer this new service to the customers. And we, uh, Oh yeah, I did talk about this. Um, we're going to offer them streaming. We want to set up a separate wireless, blah, blah, blah. I set it all up. Then he said, yeah, we'll just use one of our existing wireless networks, our existing guest network. Tore it all back out. Um, so that was the inside half of this. The outside half of this is we're, we're getting a new internet circuit installed and, um, the, uh, not the big boss, but the, the little boss, my boss, um, wanted to have, uh, wanted me to set up a separate interface on the firewall for this new one. He didn't want me to, to just carve out a VLAN on our existing outside interface. Um, he wanted a, a dedicated outside interface for this particular internet circuit. Um, so here's here's what I have to do to do that. I'm gonna turn you around so you don't have to look at me anymore. Didn't even shave for this, wow, what, a, what, a, what a dude. So here we go, this is how I do it. So we've got a couple of WAN switches here these two purple guys and that's anything that goes outside of our network goes through these two switches whether it's out to the county which is on the other side of a WAN or out to the internet uh, it's going to go through these two WAN switches they're connected into our core network they're kind of like our outside edge if you will our two firewalls are connected to those two switches and um, what I'm going to, this is how the, the outside internet cir circuit is connected, but what I'm going to tell you is exactly also how we connect the inside of the interface of the firewall and the existing internet uh, connections to the firewall. So what we do here is we want to make sure that if any one device goes down, there's still a, a path outwards. So what we do is we set up a, a multi-link trunk from this, from one of the WAN switches to the primary firewall and over to the secondary firewall. And they call it a, a multi-link trunk. And to, to make that multi-link trunk survivable, and in the old extreme days we would have called, or the old Enterosis days, he would have called it a lag, aggregate link. Um, multi-link trunk. It's just an aggregate of two connections. Um, we, so we create a, a MLT, multi-link truck. It's called an MLT on, on this particular flavor of uh, uh, extreme switch. They're legacy Avaya switches. So we use all the Avaya commands in here. We don't use the old extreme commands that I actually know and understand. Anyway, we set up a multi-link trunk uh, on these two switches. And to get it to span across two switches, we set up an SMLT, which I think stands for spanned multi-link trunk. Correct me if I'm wrong. You can put it in the comments below and tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, make sure my display doesn't go to sleep here. Where's my mouse? There it is. All right. Um, so we'll set up, you know, in this uh, just an example, multi MLT1, multi-link trunk number one. We'll set it up over here on this switch and then we'll set it up over here on this switch. And what I do is I assign the same ports to it. So if this is going into say port 12 on this switch, it goes into port 12 on this switch. So I'll set up the, the MLT, then I'll tell it, tell the switch, well this is going to be an SMLT, so then it's going to go these two switch, I'll say SMLT, just issue a command SMLT on both switches. And it'll go and look for the uh, the partner MLT on the other switch. They'll do their magic behind the scenes 
talk to each other through the core network. And um, so this MLT that normally is just set up from one switch, you can just normally do a multi-link trunk from one switch, magically now becomes a way it's spanned across these two switches. So I set up a multi-link trunk going to the primary firewall, a spanned multi-link trunk going to the primary firewall, and then a second one going to the secondary firewall. Same deal, same setup. Okay, so that's that's how you do it on the switch side of things. And I know I have not showed you commands or anything like that. Um, I don't know, is that something I can show? Um, they're doing power testing this morning, so I am. I'm distracted over here, that's why I keep pausing. I'm looking to see what went down uh, when they switched the power. So, oh well, it is what it is. Um, I don't know if you can see this little triangle down here. Probably barely, that means something's down. Okay, so anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, the uh, commands. Let me point you away, point you at my ugly face again here real quick while I check to see if I can show you these. Let me see, there I'm over here in my notes. Is there anything I don't want you to know about? Oh. Let's get my VLAN numbers. I'll just tell you. So to create the MLT, uh, you'll say ML, you just issue the command MLT and then the MLT number. And then you can give it a name, MLT1 name, uh, whatever you want to name it, internet, guest, whatever you want to name it. And uh, you go ahead and you create both MLTs on both switches. So you'll create two. One MLT for the primary firewall, one MLT for the secondary firewall. You create it across both switches. Then you'll go into the MLT interface. So you'll say INT or interface space MLT1. Hit enter. So now it'll tell you it's in a it's configuring the, the interface. And you just issue a command, SMLT. Do this, uh, oh, and then tell it, uh, you give it an LACP key. So LACP key, whatever. I usually give it the same key number as whatever MLT. So if it's MLT1, then I'll say LACP key 1. If it's MLT24, I'll say LACP key 24. And those are all separate words. There's spaces in there. And then you say LACP enable. And you do that for the other MLT. Enable LACP on there. Then you go down into the interfaces you're going to use. So you go into each interface here. Can you see? Let me fix this so you can see it. There you go. So you go into each interface you're going to use. And you tell it the LACP key that you just defined for the MLT. I don't know why everything has to rhyme. Then you tell it LACP key one, aggregation enable. Is it enabled yet? No, it's not. Then you type LACP enable. Now it's enabled. And you do this on all four ports on the switch. And um, then of course any VLANs you're gonna put across here, you have to um, make uh, the ports members and the MLT a member. So and the command in this case is VLAN member, VLAN space members space VLAN number, and then the port, the list of ports you want in it, and then the keyword port member, because I, I don't know, I guess you got to really make sure it knows. And then, uh, where was the other one earlier up? Uh, I think it's Oh, I think it's, uh, oh, what is it? I didn't write it down here. Shame on me. I got to add that. I think it's VLAN, no. Yeah, VLAN MLT members. And then 
the MLT number. No, what is it? I'm sorry. I want to get this right. I don't want to show you the commands because I, I, I got other proprietary stuff in there that I don't really want to tell you, but I want to tell you the right stuff. So hang on a second. I want to give you the right command. So let me go into the actual changes that I documented here. Why is the internet so slow? Okay. I know I did not I had to go back and add this later oh I don't know where it is MLT, MLT. should be right in there I didn't edit I'm gonna go in the switch and look so sorry about that anyway you have to add the MLT you have to add the MLT to the VLAN is the bottom line. So I'm wasting a lot of time trying to find that one stupid little command. So anyway, that's that's the last of the switch setup you got to do. Okay. A lot of stuff to do on the switch to set this up. Firewall, uh, not so much. You go into the firewall and you, of course, you have to add, you know make sure you've got the two interfaces available. So you're going to create what's called an aggregate Ethernet interface, and it's basically you go into a go into the uh, networking portion of this thing. You say I'm going to add an add an interface. You tell it it's an AE interface, give it, and it'll say AE dot what? You tell it AE one two three four five six whatever you want it to be. Um, so you create that. You tell it what physical interfaces you want to be part of that AE, aggregate ethernet, and you apply it and send it to the firewall. And that's pretty much, it's pretty much that easy. Well, it's almost pretty much that easy. I did that and it was not working. LACP, the MLT would not come up on this side. I'm saying LACP down. What the heck? So I trouble. I went around, around, around with it, make sure my connections were correct. Because I thought, well, I, mean, I must with all this, you know, we got four different wires there. I must have my wires crossed somewhere. Cables. Sorry. Nope, I didn't. Everything was right, but it still wouldn't come up. So I'm going on looking in the firewall, and then I start doing a stare and compare. Okay, we've already got three other setups like this. What am I missing? And I set those up, so I don't know why I missed this. But what I did, what I did miss, always remember this. When there's when you're dealing with, with, you know, devices with lots and lots and lots of uh, different web pages to set them up, it's always going to be a stupid little checkbox somewhere that's preventing it from working. And in my case, it was. So in the Palo Alto firewall, here to page two. You go into this aggregate Ethernet interface. Here's the main config. This is where you, you set it all up. Now oh, this point. You set it all up here in this main tab. And I'd set that all up correctly, but I neglected the LACP tab. And here's the stupid little checkbox. Can you guys see that? Let me tilt it a little better. There you go. Aggregate Ethernet. Here's the main config. Here's the config tab that I was missing, LACP. And there's the stupid little checkbox. <laughs> I spent probably two, two and a half hours checking my cabling, checking my commands and the switches over and over and over again, running around, running around. And uh, it was it was in the easiest setup of all over in the firewall, LACP. Enable it. So, yeah. Took a while, but I basically just wanted to to give you guys the whole backstory before I I, I tell you one of my uh, one of my mantras uh, along with it's the tagging stupid is 
it's always some stupid little checkbox that you have to to find and enable to get that weird complicated problem to work at least it was in this case and it's been in many other cases especially when dealing with palo alto there's always a little checkbox that got missed somewhere so anyway that's all i got for this week guys um if you're still there god bless you uh, if you like what you saw click the subscribe button click the notification bell next week uh i may not have any technical contact tent because i'm on vacation next week taking my wife away or um i'm just gonna get away for a week go camping in the, in the wilds of nevada and um yeah so i um may not have any technical contact next content next week may i may just do a quick update you know maybe we'll show you where we're where we're vacationing it's out in the desert somewhere so i don't know if anybody's even interested in that no. we are going to go to death valley though that's always fun um <laughs> so anyway um next week may not i don't know we'll see i don't it's not like very many people watch this channel anyway i got a lot of subscribers but i don't think anybody really watches it so and that's okay i just do this for fun anyway and for the enjoyment and education of people out there that are thinking of going into this line of work so and i'm digressing again click subscribe click the subscribe button the notification bell leave a comment below if you have any questions other things you'd like to see you know give me a give me uh give me a comment below and we'll uh, we'll see what we can arrange and uh if not we'll see you guys all next week and as always god bless